CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Today, we're going to talk about some multimeters. Prices, value, and my opinions on what you really need to get the job done. So stick around. If you're looking for a multimeter and want to hear something about it and look at these, well, I'm going to tell you, after having the advanced digital snap-on and these other meters, what I like. Stick around. All right, guys, so we're going to give you a quick quick and dirty review on a little multimeter called a Tessman. And I got to tell you, I really laughed at this thing and said, this thing's a joke. Really was like, this thing, absolutely stupid. $12.99, what a waste. Now, I do have one multimeter that's missing out of here, and that is in my truck, and I should have grabbed it, but I didn't, so I apologize. Really not really necessary for this video, but... <sighs> A lot of people always ask me, CP is a snap-on EEDM596F Bluetooth model really worth the money? And my answer to that is uh, probably not. There's a couple things that I do like about this, and the large display is obviously the big elephant in the room. Compared to this little display or this display right here, which isn't terrible. The Mac one is honestly about the same. Uh, this is the EM721, which is a decent meter, but my favorite would honestly be a Fluke. We're going to cut that one right out of the way. When it comes down to it, the ultimate meter for me is a Fluke 88. I owned one, got rid of it, traded it for the Snap-on. Probably one of the biggest regrets I have as a, as a, uh, a mechanic was switching that. Now, I do drive the Snap-on quite a bit. Battery eating machine and extremely expensive. Luckily, I bought this one. They were about $500. Now, a lot of people nowadays always want something to just do some quick voltage testing, uh, DC, AC, whatever, some ohm, you know, some doing some resistance. And that's really the basics of a, of a scan to, or a multimeter is what you need. Now, all this extra stuff for a lot of us is basically mechanic and some of it even I'm not capable of doing because it's above my pay grade. You know, electrical diagnostic is I'm not the master of doing diagnostic testing and never claimed to be. But at the same sense, I do have a pretty good grasp on it. I would say that I'm probably uh, above 75%, which means I'm a C average, which I'm average. CP, the average tool guy. That's all there is to it, you know. But I, I am smart enough to be able to, you know, kind of talk my way through and find out some stuff. Let's shut this off before I have to put another uh, $6 12-volt uh, battery in. So it's kind of a moot point. We're not going to talk about this one a great deal. But in, my, in, in, this, in this situation, uh, the Snap-on definitely is not going to win any marks for everybody that's looking for a budget tool and looking for something for this type of deal. Now, uh, the Mac one is definitely, I got this one on a deal. I think this was like 400 bucks. I needed to buy the low, low, amp, low voltage probe, and there was a deal on these. And Mac also has this one cool deal. They have these lockouts so that you can't push in your, put in your probes where you're on a different setting. They change with the setting which is kind of nice and unique as you see here see how they flip open when you get to different settings and they lock out from other ones so and it's a rugged tool and honestly this one that holds batteries and does a pretty decent job so it's really not a bad point but today's video is going to focus on this $12.99 Tessman uh, meter right here which is absolutely phenomenal for the money honestly quick and dirty tool to carry with you a lot of times this is awesome now this also does non-contact voltage too it has a light a light display and it has an led in the back which is honestly pretty handy but very very quick dirty it carries your voltage ac dc ohms and you have some continuity testing that you can do with this really for the most part, all the cars that you're doing, this thing will handle a lot of those jobs. Now, I'm not saying this is the end-all, be-all for a master technician, but honestly, it's pretty impressive. And it impressed me. I, I looked at this thing, and I was like, I'm not spending $12.99 on this thing. I bought two of them now, okay? So I spent $24. Now I'm going to carry one of these in my truck, and I'll probably carry them in my vehicles. And if the battery holds up, which I forget what the battery was on this. Uh, I think it's just a double A, two double A's. Yeah, I tore it apart. It has a screw. I should have done this on camera. Let me actually open this up. This cover, rubber cover comes off and it just has a Phillips screw and it has two double A batteries right there, it says, uh, and nice rubber cover on it. So 
Honestly, not terrible. Quick and easy to turn on. Non-contacted voltage. You switch it over to that, and now you can check. All right, so it'll work better on my 12-volt outlets here, but you can see here. Gives us some non-contact voltage, so it makes it a great tool for household stuff. That's low on there. Well, I guess you could, you know, probably trace it for some wires from some low voltage. Still, still pulling it up, I guess. Green means it's low voltage. Red means it's hot voltage. So, definitely not terrible. Let's talk about the leads real quick. Quick and dirty. Nothing too fancy. Just simple leads. Got some caps on here. Do some quick testing with it. Show you. It's auto detected. So, that way you can, you don't have to pick a deal on here. So you're going to automatically find AC and DC voltage, you know, and it's not, it's going to be safe. <laughs> you got to take it off non-contact voltage to test it. So we're going to put our potters of negative. <coughs> Get the light on here. Get our positive and our negative. Can't get down in there deep enough, CP. All right, so we're going to check our voltage here. And it's an auto detect, so you can just get right in here and get after it. We don't have to worry about clicking on any buttons. And you can see there. Well, come on, little feller. You can see there we got 10 volts. Which it's a 12 volt battery, and that's roughly about correct with it. It's a little bit used, but we didn't have to check, click on any buttons and check on anything. Auto detect on it, automatically randomizes. You can do continuity, ohm testing, voltage for DC and AC without having to mess around with anything. Not too shabby, honestly, for $12.99, quick and dirty. Now, if there's anybody that's, you know, professional diagnostic or, you know, uh, they'll understand what I'm getting at with this. It's not. This isn't a tool that's going to get you through every single thing on the realm of electrical diagnostic testing. But, honestly, for $12, it's going to do a lot. You're trying to get voltage. You're trying to ohm test. You're trying to do a continuity test. Pretty simple. Honestly, best best multimeter on the market. And save yourself a shitload of money by spending $12.99. And you can get by for a little while with this guy until you can afford something better. But it's definitely the best $12 multimeter on the market. Go to Harbor Freight and you spend $6.99 for those things. They're junk. This thing is well built. Very rugged, durable, has a light. That's huge right there, especially if you're working in the dark. Honestly, this is a great tool for the money. I'm absolutely thrilled with it for $12.99. I, 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 I had a subscriber that said, hey, you need to try this. And he's he hounded me about this thing. And I got to tell you, for $12.99... I, why I bought one more after I got it. Been using it. It's actually awesome. Because all I got to do, grab, go, click it on, and we're ready to rock and roll. Simple as that. Now we can get the testing. Faster to get the job done. Faster to make you money. Faster to get your work done. Faster to fight the problem. And that's always a win in my book. So anyways, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, link in the description for the testman. Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.